Hi, I am Dave Marshall from the Philippines, particularly from Seliman University. Um, currently, I am the Dean of the College of uh, Computer Studies. I handled four programs and one, four undergraduate programs and one graduate program. Um, I am also the prime mover of the service learning in ICT as, a, as an advocacy as part of our community extension of the College of Computer Studies. Is there any change in the administrative position? Um, not really. When I become um, a fellow, I was the dean actually of the College of Computer Studies. And when I came back after my fellowship, I still am the dean of the College of Computer Studies. But um, what is interesting is perhaps on my responsibility to contribute and provide impact to Seliman community, particularly to the students and in the classroom. The Fellows Program of the United Board made me more significant and made me a better leader. What I get in a very um, interesting quality that honed me and improved me is more of becoming an outcomes-based focus. Secondly, to be um, culturally aware in terms of the teaching and learning, uh, especially that my field is in the computer studies. One thing I learned most during my Harvard or the Summer Institute program is I think as a validation of my focus or motivation on technology. The technology is, not, I mean teaching and learning is not all about technology, but we should focus being a leader to drive people or teachers or the teaching staff towards the content and focus more into pedagogy. And during my Asia placement at International Christian University in Japan, I learned more about multidisciplinary integration in the teaching and learning, particularly how liberal arts is being integrated, multidiscipline, and how students are uh, how students be able to manage um, the integration of all these disciplines into one common outcome. The entire fellowship program honed me and um, provided me an opportunity to understand more about whole person education particularly when I was in the International Christian University where I did not miss any of the time that I could learn whole person education. For example, I attended several church-related activities to augment and develop and how these institutions integrate um, spirituality as far as teaching and learning is concerned. I was able also to participate activities related to um, seminars and workshops um, in, in relation to the ethical integration in all disciplines uh, at ICU. The three aspects that I like best during my, uh, fe during my fellowship program, number one is um, during the Summer Institute, it's so amazing that we learned a lot of challenges and opportunities in just 20 days. Uh, it was a remarkable experience considering that it was intensive yet um, fun together with the other fellows. Second is conducting the case study during our Asia placement. The case study allowed me to widen our perspective, looking at a different perspective, different angles, different focus or lens of integration or teaching and learning. Last but not the least is during the leadership uh, program in, in Singapore, particularly during the discussions on assessing our leadership qualities on how we could manage it, be able to provide and, and relay and provide an impact to our uh, community or at our home institution. When I applied for the fellowship program, uh, I was asked to define what is leadership. During that time, I defined as a good leader is being able to predict the challenges, the unpredictable challenges and changes in higher education. After the fellowship program, I still believe on that definition, but I think I have to add and modify it. That being a good leader, being a good leader is to think globally, but be able to translate it into your own context, into your own locality, for you to be able to achieve greater impact toward the achievement of the vision, mission, goal of your home institution.